Hi guys. I was just sneaking a peek at the time here. It's after midnight already here. Um, I wanted to come to you and um, uh, probably put together a couple of videos this evening because um, I wanted to um, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of important things actually. Um, in this particular video, um, I want to talk with you, I want to go a little bit further regarding um, the island and regarding um, some of the places of safety. Information that the Lord gave me um, back in the summer of this summer of 2016, um, where he spoke of the, <laughs> hi angels, where he spoke of the um, places of safety. And he also spoke of um, some information regarding um, um, the catching away of God's people. So, um, so I want to try and break this up into a couple of videos. Um, I don't want it to be too heavy and bothersome. It's a lot of information, a lot of meat for you all to chew on and to try to digest, um, especially if you have not heard any of these things. Um, um, and this is all new information to you. So I want to be sure that we are um, um, providing the information that the Lord has provided to me and um, answer any questions that you might have or maybe just kind of discuss some things that might be um, being proposed into your mind. So in the last video, we talked about, um, we talked about, um, um, the, the, the lit raindrops and we talked about the island. And in that video, I went through and I discussed um, the dreams that I had regarding the island. And then I also discussed, um, you know, uh, trying to explain all of this information to the people that were, um, that I was taking in the very last dream that I had um, in the island. And I'm um, going through this mall and I was trying to explain to them, you know, don't go into this area. It's a dead end. You'll waste your time, you know, continue focused on and trying to show them how to get through this mall to get to the plane, to get to the island. And so um, and so all the information that I was explaining to them was was gathered from all of the different times and the different dream. I say dreams, but the different times that I had um the opportunity to experience the island. And so that was the information that I was giving to the folks that I was trying to take to the island. So the point that I was trying to make with the island is, is that, um, is that it isn't, it wasn't this physical body that went to that island. It was my, my spirit man that went to that island. I mean, I, worked all day. I came home. I handled my family. I, um, you know, shared the messages that I have. I did my studies. I spent some time with the Lord or whatever, whatever I went through that evening. And then I laid my head down at night and it is then that I went to the island. And so while my body still may have been in that bed, my inner man, my spirit man was headed to go and do something uh, spiritually. So um, what what I'm trying to say is, is that this island um, may not be in the physical realm. It may be in another dimension. It may be in a place that is not in this realm, this dimension. Now, I'm not a scientist. Um, I don't understand all the different definitions as to what a realm is, what a division, what a uh, dimension is, and you know any, anything like that. When I'm saying not here, but in another realm, or not here, but in another dimension, I'm kind of basically I'm I'm putting those words together because you know I don't I don't really know the difference between. Um, a realm and a, and a dimension. Um, you know, is there a difference? You know, I don't even know. So, but for purposes of this video, we're just going to say that's the same thing. It's not here in this physical dimension where we are currently right now. It is in a, another place. 
And I know that in speaking with the Lord and receiving a message, uh, excuse me, and receiving a message um, regarding um, being on the island, I am, uh, I am aware that we are going to be outside of time. So that tells me right there too, that we're not, we're not going to be here on the physical earth. It's not going to be a place here. And so, um, and so, um, back in July, the Lord gave me several messages. I had the great opportunity to, um, be given about four or five, maybe even, oh no, one was a really big study, but I had about, about four or five different messages regarding these places of safety. Um, the Lord entrusted me with them and I, I went through and I shared them. These messages that I'm going to be sharing with you, and I'm not sharing all of them um, in the video tonight, but um, the messages can be found on my Facebook page under the notes section. I, um, I may have shared them through my through my timeline but you know how the timeline works on Facebook you just excuse me you'll lose things as the more that you add but in my notes section they are there they're like a pinned thing there and you can find them they have the dates and all of the information and so any of my scriptures or notes or studies or anything else that I would have done with them it's all it's all right there for your um for your viewing excuse me I'm, I'm trying to battle the hiccups not to come on while I have a video going um, so anyway guys I want to talk to you about a couple of messages that is regarding um, these places of safety that the Lord gave me messages on back in July so the first one I want to read to you is called um, is that's not it the first one I want to read to you is called Taken to Places of Safety. And he gave me this message. Um, this is not the first message he gave me. The first message he gave me was regarding the arcs. And, um, and um, that came about when I was asking him um, about information about um, the art, the replicas that they were putting up. And I'm, I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about, but there's several states that have these big, huge um, Noah's Ark replicas um, that are being that are being put out. And the Lord actually gave me a, um, I want to say dream, but I think it was just a vision. Um, because all I did is, is see my, I, I knew I was standing in front of this huge, huge boat and the boat was like a, um, a, a real dark, a real dark brown in color, but it was huge. I mean, to the point where I felt like I was, I was this big standing in front of the, the bow of this big boat. And that was the only thing I remember of the of the vision, and that and that's why I say it was a vision. Um, it could have been a dream, and that I only remembered a little snippet. So, I you know I'm just I, it was a dream vision, a vision dream, a vision within a dream. You know, I don't know, but that's the only part that I do remember. And so then when I started seeing the replicas of the of the Noah's Ark coming out, and um, I was looking at them online, I you know because I was. I saw these things and I thought, oh man, that would be so awesome to go and walk through and see what was going on. You know, you would not have to ask me twice. I would, I would be packed and ready to go, you know, to go and, and check that thing out. I, to me, that is right up my alley. I would love to see it. And, um, and so I was praying and talking to the Lord about it. And it wasn't long after that that the Lord gave me the message about the arcs first. And, um, and so anyway, so you can go and read that message if you'd like. It's just that some of these other messages, and I want to keep the video a little bit shorter than what we have been doing. Um, it's these other messages that I want to definitely get into so that you can hear the information about it. So um, he, he gave me some information about um, being taken to places of safety. And this is a message um, that... Um, excuse me he gave on July the 12th of 2016 and um, and so um, this is the message 
It says, daughter, coming about will be the greatest escape, will be the greatest escape in the history of mankind. All of my people shall be taken to places of safety. There shall not be any harm. There shall not be any harm there, nor shall there be any fear. My child, listen to the words that I am saying to you this day, for they are powerful and strong, full of truth and mercy. My ark is provided for all who will take a chance on me. Upon my son, who has given his life for the mercy of all. They can read about it, for I have given it unto them to decipher. It is perfect and full of power. His blood shall atone for all sin, iniquities, and transgressions. My child, he is well able to, he is well able to cover you in all things. So my daughter, listen. The ark is provided for a way of escape. I shall show you what it means and why. You will hinder the thoughts and speculations of man, but I say this to you this day. Let it be. My ways are above all ways, and my thoughts higher than man's. You can know what I am about to do by listening to my words. Hence, the protection provided. My children, walk not in the path of the unrighteous, nor sit in the seat of the scoffers, for they shall have their just reward. Keep straight along my path, and you shall know the truths that your heart has so long desired. Make way, make haste, for my time has come. It shall be grand, it shall be glorious, monumentous, and full of fear for many. My children shall walk safely to the other side, for I shall keep them safe from all harm, just as in the days of old. I sensed he was speaking of the Red Sea parting and the Israelites going across. And that was the image that he had in my mind, that he, that he put in my mind while he was speaking. He said, I am well capable of handling this and stopping those who pursue you. So falter not, my children. Walk among my paths. So that was the message that he gave on that. And I thought, wow, you know, guys, he, he truly is. He truly is providing a way for all. He truly is. And, you know, he speaks in this message. He speaks of, first off, all of my people. He's providing a way for all. He's providing a way for all. And that it's a way of escape and that he's he's well able to protect even even those who are just going to take a chance on him. I mean, he knows. He already knows who is. He already knows. So, guys, the place is a safety. The place is a safety. They're out there. They're going to be out there waiting for us. And it's going to be for all of his people. So there's going to be quite a few. And what's going to be interesting is, is some of the information that we're going to find out in the next couple of messages that he gave us. So the next one, he woke me up at 3 in the morning. And um, he, he um, let's see, I'm trying to think, on the 15th. The first one was the 12th. So three days later, at three in the morning, he woke me up and he said, My child, the time has come for my return upon the earth for my people. There will be various stages this will occur. Oh, various stages this will occur. Watch and see that you are ready, my children, when it is your turn for me to call. Many will be disheartened, for it did not occur as they planned. However, my ultimate plan will unfold exactly as I proposed it to be. Rest assured in that, my loves. I have all things in control, and all things are possible to them who believe. Are you one who will be used for, for kingdom purposes? Yes, my love, and more. 
Are you ready for the greatest return in the world to occur and take you with it? I asked him, are you speaking of heaven? He said, I speak of areas to house my children until the harm has passed. The outer rim. I speak of areas, plural, to house my children. Then he said, the outer rim. I said, the outer rim, Lord? He said, an area of safety for my children, unable to be tapped into or barraged. There, many will enjoy peace while understanding truths and what must be. You can know that you can know that I am there with you, for I will walk amongst you. You have seen this place in your dreams and know the area I speak of. That's the island. That's the only place that I've dreamt about. So I asked him, I said, what is the name of this area? And the fr and at first I thought he I thought he said Sansa. Um, Sansabar. But no, I heard Zanzibar. I said, Zanzibar, Lord? He said, Zanzibar. I said, how will I get there, Father? He said, I will carry you, and I'll place you there, my child, among the masses who will be with you. You were there for learning and rest. What am I going to be learning, Lord? I thought I heard how to fight and how to protect others from harm. But it wasn't clear. And so when I, when I hear from him and it's not clear, or I hear from him and I'm like perplexed and want to ask again, <laughs> You know, Father, can you can you tell me that again? Can you repeat that? Um, or, you know, Lord, you know, I, I'll ask him a question, if especially if it wasn't clear. And um, so I asked him again, and he said, um, My love, wonder not what will happen at that time. We have plenty time we have plenty of time to discuss, for you are there for rest and to dine with me. Now, we talked about this one yesterday. I am greatly excited with the anticipation of that day. Flowers in your hair. And that was all I heard of the message. I had already started looking stuff up online. I was like, you know, outer rim, the universe. I was trying to Google all kinds, you know, Google's your friend. So I was trying to pull up all kinds of stuff. I wanted to know what in the world, what was the outer rim? Well, I'm going to tell you, I found a lot of different things. Um, but um, but what I did is I started looking up at, I looked up Zanzibar, which is an, which is an island in Tanzania. And um, the main island is a crater where the land mass around it is called the Outer Rim. I mean, you just, you know, you just can't make this stuff up. How in the world, you know... Zanzibar is the tropical island just off the coast. And so um, so I wanted to learn, okay, well, you know, am I sure this is what, you know, did I truly hear Zanzibar? You know, is there any Sansas, anything out there? And I looked and there wasn't anything. I couldn't find anything. So Zanzibar is what it is. And so, um, you know, I'm just kind of thinking in my mind, Lord, you know, kind of make, Help me make sure that that I'm on the right track here. And um, so then I started pulling up, you know, different information. And then all of a sudden, a guy's name by the name of Stan Deo came up. And um, he actually did a um, search out in the Tanzania, Tanzania area. And he, it, he has stated that he thinks he found the lost garden of the Eden there. And so what, what other confirmation could the Lord give me, really, that I was on the right track? Um, you know, I was, I was, I was, I, I couldn't believe what, what he had woken, woken me up to tell me. And so 
And so when you think about the Garden of Eden, the garden, you know, Adam and Eve fell from the garden. Um, so the Garden of Eden was was not the original Garden of Eden um, was not in our dimension. It was not in our realm. Um, they fell to this realm, the physical realm. And, um, you know, maybe this was the area where they were after the, after they fell, they were booted out of the Garden of Eden. Um, so, you know, is this the area then where they were, the, the physical Garden of Eden? But is the spiritual Garden of Eden, is that the island? Is that, is that where we're going? Is that where those folks are going, should I say? Because we're finding out now that there's more than one area. So um, it's interesting to think about. He did confirm it with the Stan Deo and trying to find the Garden of Eden and the whole crater and all of that. I mean, it was, I mean, there it was all laid out for me. Just, I just had to look for it. I just had to find it. And so, um, you know, I just, you, when you get that kind of information, come it comes on you and, and, and your mind starts to, to grasp it. The, the revelation that he's giving out, it's, it's so good to you. It's like, you know, it's like food. It's like, you know, you, you almost can't get enough. It's so exciting and it's so, you know, um, it's just, it's nourishment for our insides, not our body, but our, for our spirit, man, we just crave it. We crave wanting to know, you know, what this is about and what's going on and how it is. But sometimes it takes a little bit of time for our mind to catch up with it and to, to be able to digest it through and to, to have that all funnel into our heart and our, and, 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 you know, what we have moving forth. And so, I know some of the messages that I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, putting out to you tonight is, it's a lot of information, but it's, um, it, it's all tying in together. And so I'm going to try and keep much of it together as I possibly can. And I'm sorry if you're hearing shuffling papers here. I'm, I'm going through my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my books that has these printed out and put in there. So um, that was on the 15th um, that I got that second one. And so, um, so um, let's see, um, I had a conversation with the Lord on 718, and this was over my lunch hour at work. And so I was kind of sitting at my desk, taking my lunch hour at my desk, which was the wrong thing to do because the enemy <clears throat> really tried to um, bother me quite a bit and uh, interrupted this message quite a bit. Excuse me, let me get a drink for a <clears throat> try and clear my throat here and thank you um so anyway on um um july the 18th around my lunch hour i'm you know i'm still i'm still trying to you know funnel all of this stuff and and really figure out what it is that's going to be going on so anyway i asked the lord i said i said father can i talk with you a moment and he said yes my love and i said when you gave the information on when you gave the information on Zanzibar, what is it that you wanted us to know? I understood it was an ark, a place of protection where we could rest and understand truths. But is the ark different from the rapture catching away? And he was real quiet and I did not hear a response. And I said, you know, Lord, I really don't know what to ask you. And, you know, I'm, I'm sensing in myself, it was two different things. And I, and I just basically said, can you, can you, can you expand on this? Can you explain this to us? And he said, my child, it is a time of nurturing, a time of leaving old things behind to embrace new things for I make all things new. My child, it is a time of changing into your old selves, your real selves, 
for all the world to see. Can you understand this? And I said, the transformation, or I guess a better word, the transfiguration occurring? And he said, yes, my child. Many will not know that this is occurring and will be quite surprised by the announcement. And I said, the announcement, Lord? And he said, I shall announce my court. And I said, your court? He said, my reigning court. Those who will reign with me. And so I questioned him, here on earth, Lord? And he said, here in the ever after. They have been trained for their duties upon the earth and go forth in great glory. They are my beloved. I said, Father, can you clarify who exactly these are? There has been great confusion regarding this. He said, these are my beloved bride, my true followers, pure in heart, willing and able to follow me in all things, my heart, my loves. I said, so Zanzibar, Lord, the bride will go to Zanzibar? He said, my child, many will go to Zanzibar. From there, others will be carried elsewhere. The ark is a protective covering. From there, many things can occur. I said, oh, okay, so I'm starting to understand. It's like a safe holding place, so to speak. And at this point, I got interrupted at work. So once I returned to quiet, this was about five or 10 minutes later, I sought him out again to return where we were in the conversation. I said, so it's a safe holding space, so to speak. And he said, yes, so to speak. He said, my warring angels will also be there helping all they can. Do you understand why? And I'm like, well, why? He said, because great masses of angels from the enemy's camp will be amassing against the earth. They are set on destruction and are allowed a set time to do so. Do you understand? I said, yes, Father. I said, will the children, the innocents as they are called, will they be there also? The Lord had given me a message um, last year, early last year. Um, he gave me several of them regarding the innocents, the children, and more than just the children, but the innocents, those um, that could not make um, decisions of right or wrong on their own. They were not capable of doing that or that they did not have all the information to make a decision about things. Um, these are the innocents that he is talking about here. We identify them as just a grouping of children uh, because when we think of the innocents, uh, for the most part, we normally think of young children. But the Lord did give me a message that he would be taking the young children to a place of safety. That was the first time I heard about a place of safety um, is when he told me about the children. And so here I'm asking the Lord, I'm asking him, you know, if these evil angels from the enemy's camp and demons and all this other stuff is coming down on this earth, I wanted to know where the children were going to be. And so I asked him, are they going to be in Zanzibar where there's, it is a place of safety? And this is what he said. Let me find my place here. They will be taken to another place for safety and protected by the angels. These children have seen where they are going. They've met who will attend to them and know what is about to occur, even if it is just remembered within their subconsciousness. Subconscious. They are prepped and ready for my return and call for them. He is so thorough. He is so thorough. One of the main things that I had asked him when I first learned that the children 
um, you know, we're going to be taken to a place of safety is, you know, Father, I don't want them to be afraid. You know, I don't want them to be worried about us being here. I don't want them to be afraid. You know, there was a lot of different things that I prayed and talked to the Lord about. You know, my heart was extremely heavy to learning and hearing about this message for the first time. And um, and then even so, when I had to start preparing my heart to um, be able to let go, you know, what, you know, to prepare myself for that day. You know, it's been, the Lord has brought me, the Lord has, the Lord has, brought me a long way from what all we, from what all, um, how I was positioned myself when I first received that message. So, um, so he continued on with the message. I said, well, Lord, what do you want us to know that I can share with others that will be an encouragement to them, Lord? He said, tell them that I love them very much and that I have provided a place for them. It is upon the water that they will go, upon the waves. Does this make sense to you? And right as I was saying, Father, it's hard to understand some things. Can you explain? Somebody else busted up in my office, and um, I got interrupted again. And this time it was a lot longer for me to, to be able to get back to the Lord. I'm still on my lunch hour. I'm still trying. It's just don't take your lunch hour in your office if you don't want to be interrupted. That's that's the lesson I learned that day. Um, but anyway, I did get back to him again. And I said, um, he did continue. He said, my child, it is well within your reach now. My waters of old, my plains, my waters of development, cleansing, and renewal you will learn these truths. Many will understand my ways in regards to this. Forsake not the grounding of your faith in the ways of old, my child. It is the real way, the only way, to attest and atone. And uh, I questioned him for, and he said, my ways. And that was the end of the conversation. So with every interruption that I had, um, it got harder and harder and harder to hear, to hear him. And, um, and I really had to press in to hear him and because I wanted to know, I wanted to know the answers to these questions. I wanted to understand more about what he was telling me, um, about these places of safety. Um, I did want to, I did want to read a note here, um, that I had written, uh, regarding the waters. It says, we know, we know God spoke and separated the waters, leaving some above the firmament described in Genesis 1, 6, and that Jesus is the living water. We have understood some big events that occurred with water, um, the flood with Noah and the parting of the Red Sea with Moses. Psalm 29 says his voice is upon the waters and Jesus could walk on water along with anyone else who stayed focused upon him and not their situation. For example, Peter. And we know that a baby is developed in water, pregnancy, and the Jewish people follow strict mikvah rituals that cleanse and renew and they encompass and cover more than we understand on the surface. So while the Lord appears to be giving new revelation, he is also showing us that the old ways followed by the Jewish people are more important than we even realize. So I'm wondering now is we're going to be learning truth. We're going to be learning truth on these on these islands, on these places of safety. Um but it's going to be truth from the ways of old, truth from the ways that things should have been all this time, but have but have been altered, have been changed, have been hidden, have been stopped for whatever reasons. Um, things that the Jewish people are doing that should be done, we're going to learn. And things that we're doing and following the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior they're going to learn. 
So it is going to be interesting to see um, all of the truths that we're going to be understanding and learning and all of the different things um, that we're going to be um, understanding. And um, so this this message here and and the one um, and the one before things are going to happen in stages. This is not going to be like the Israelites' mass exodus coming out of Egypt. You know, everybody coming out at one time. This is, this is going to happen in stages. And it's not going to happen the way that everybody has in their mind, which is different. Everybody has a different idea in their mind. Some people say there is no catching a ways. And some people say, um, well, there is, but it's pre-trib. Some say mid-trib. Some say end of the tribulation. Some say, you know, whatever their whatever their beliefs are. And, you know, they've believed what people have taught them and what people have told them. And they had no reason not to believe. They truly didn't. And so some of the some of the falsities that we have learned and have been standing on all of these years, the Lord is trying to put forth now. You know, guys, I have a plan. You're going to be safe and you're going to be protected and I'm going to get you there. But it's not going to happen the way that you think it's going to happen. Okay? So when things start happening in stages, what we're going to have to understand is is that when the first group gets pulled on out of here, whether it's the children, whether it's um, whether it's you know first fruits or whatever the first wave is going to be, that those that are in the next wave and and not know it are going to see those leaving, and if you you've not been told the truths of what the Lord is trying to tell us, if you've not heard it. Or if you've heard it and thought, there is no way that's going to happen. That's totally against, you know, anything I've ever understood, you know, then there's going to be some folks that are going to have despair. They're going to think, he left and he left me. They're going to think, that that's it. If, the, if people are thinking there's only one catching out of here, you know, then um, they're going to think that, you know, well, that's it. I'm going through the tribulation, you know. So there's going to be, there's going to be, um, there's when he says there's going to be a lot of disheartened people, there's going to be a lot of disheartened people. And it's mainly going to be because they don't understand what's happening. They don't understand. So know that the Lord has made a way for all. And, you know, he's made a way for all. And yes, they have to do their part. They have to do their part. But the Lord is going to do his part. He's, he's made a way for all. So rest assured, rest assured, if you're praying for your family members, he's heard your prayer. Um, he's going to make sure that, um, you know what he told me once about prayers? He said, I'm going to take your prayers and use them as kindling to ignite a fire within their hearts. That's what he told me. He said, your prayers are going to be used as kindling to ignite a fire in their hearts. That's how important our prayer is. And you know what kindling is. Like dried grass and little twigs and little, you know, little... Little things that you're going to, you're just going to build a little, a little, you know, whatever. And what's it take to start that? What's it take to start that thing on fire? It takes a little spark. That's all it takes. It don't take a, a whole big flaming arrow, a match or whatever. And it would be great if you have it, but that's, it doesn't take it. It, it ta all it takes is a tiny spark. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. And you know, God will, he will use stuff. He will use stuff. Oh, he 
He loves people so much. I'm telling you, he just loves people so much. So guys, I just wanted to talk to you about that um, regarding these. And um, the next video that I'm going to do, um, I, I want to talk about the catching aways. I want to talk about... Um, I want to talk about something, too, that the Lord um, allowed me to experience back at the tail end of October. And um, if you've been following me on Facebook, then you're probably aware of of, um, of uh, a, a real dark place and a real um, a real area that um, it felt like it was a dead zone. Um, uh, that is something that I want to talk to you about. But I, I felt the need to go ahead and, and discuss um, what the Lord has talked and told us about these places of safety. So, um, so we know for a fact that, you know, people being caught, caught out away and being placed into these places of safety is going to be done in stages. And, um, so there's going to be waves of people. And we discussed the dream of my sister where I ended up in that closet many videos back and that, you know, the Lord can open up a door that will allow us to go into a hidden area, a different realm, you know, anywhere. He he just he can provide anything. He's created all of this and he can do it. He can create even more. But I want you to know that, you know, we may be outside of time in these areas. And so what may seem like a long period of time outside of time may may only be mere moments here on earth and so um and so there you know there's going to be a lot of different things that we're going to be learning about while we're there and um getting some rest while we're there and learning about new truths while we're there so you know we've got we've got some big exciting times coming coming ahead of us so don't be afraid don't be afraid um there is some darkness coming there is some some um, some other things that we're going to be talking about in the next video. But still, again, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. If you have prepared yourself, if you are um, a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ and you've invited the Holy Spirit in, you know, don't be afraid. Don't. Because, you know, these what's going to be happening now is he's going to be taking you into an area of safety and teaching and training you about what's going to be happening next. Because, guys, you know, the earth is not our home. This is not where we belong. This is not our home. You know, he knew us before we got here. He knew us before we we were, we were even knit in our mother's womb. You know, so we were here to learn something. And now it's time to move on. Now it's time to go forward and go into a new area. What's the next part? What's the next phase? And so anyway, we want to talk a little bit more about the catching of ways in the next video. But I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this one and sticking with me on it. Um, hopefully the next one won't be quite so long. So guys, God bless you. Stay under his wing and I'll be right back at you.